Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco F3, the Mi 11X, also known as the Redmi K40. Now today we are talking about a very, very interesting ROM. The ROM here is Corvus OS 17 Vanguard Official. Now I've been using it since the last two to three days. One of my elite testers, Indranil Varma, has been using it. You guys know him as Elite Reviews YT. That's his channel. Go check it out as well. So we've been using this ROM on the Mi 11X for a couple of days. We've ran the benchmarks. We've seen the battery drain. We've seen the charging speeds and some of them have also tested the gaming and it's time to review this beauty and tell you if you should install it or not but before we get into the details if you like watching custom rom stuff every single day please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us if you think you want to chat with like-minded people who have similar devices join us on telegram because we have more than 1000 to 1100 people doing awesome stuff there you can chat with everyone there and we're there on instagram facebook and twitter as well and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going now first of all to my indian and global brothers and sisters all the viewers out there my family a very very happy diwali may this diwali bring you good health happiness prosperity and success and whatever you desire this is the biggest festival for us hindus in india and we celebrate it with a lot of joy so i give my best wishes to you guys as well so let's get going with corvus os 17 vanguard official this is based on android 11 it has been updated on the 31st of october 2021 now the download size is 1.19 gb for the normal vanilla version and 1.68 GB for the G apps version. Now, if you talk about the changelog of this particular device, I'm pretty sure the changelog would be pretty, pretty long. And as you can see over here, they have made quite a lot of changes. So you can pause the video and you can go ahead and have a look at the changelog. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the ROM itself because that is what we are here for. The moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will see that you have a beautiful Corvus wallpaper. Now, remember, this is an Android 11 ROM we are talking about. We are not talking about Android 12 because Corvus is yet to jump on to the Android 12 bandwagon so in android 11 the moment you boot into this particular rom you will see that it doesn't have any bloatware it comes with the google search bar at the bottom assistant shortcuts to the left and right and you have this pill for quick gestures which works absolutely fine the app icon animations are beautifully amazing to be very very clear uh i like the app icon animations on android 12 and android 12 roms but this is something else this definitely is something else just have a look how smooth how fluid this is no matter what app you're opening it works really fine and the animation till the end is really great so that is something neat now to the left you have google feed now i have to tell you this is a mi 11x or the redmi k40 or poco f3 the google feed on this phone or any phone for that matter out of all the devices that i own uh, now i have this one this one this one i also have this baby over here my personal device excuse the back cover being dirty lots of testing going on we are bringing back covers for you so stay tuned for that but yeah on all of the devices across all of the devices the google feed has been the smoothest on this particular rom on the mi 11x it's it's really a treat to be using this in always 120 hertz mode i don't really care about the battery life even if i use this as a daily driver i don't care about the battery life because the amount of smoothness that you will see if you keep the minimum refresh rate and the maximum refresh rate as 120 it's amazing you, it's not only google feed you know it's not only google feed the entire rom is butter smooth it feels really really good matter of fact i handed over this particular device to one of my friends who uses a mi 11x stock with a locked boot loader and he's on 12.5.5 enhanced and he said that this doesn't feel like a mi 11x now that for you guys is the power of custom rom now not to say that corvus os is 100 percent perfect and you should forget all the roms that flash this well the review is still going on so wait till the end so that's everything about the initial screen so if you press and hold over here you go to home settings you will see that you get this launcher which has a ton of customization just have a look i'll slowly scroll through this 
right? As you can see, it does have a ton of customization, Google Feed tab and stuff like that. You also have developer options. So this is the Corvus launcher, if I'm not wrong, or if it is called something else, let me know in the comment section. If you press and hold again, you have widgets, your Android 12 widgets. Again, you know, smooth, working like a boss, performing great, as you can see over here, no stutter, no jitter, no issues at all. Now, the moment you go to the multitasking menu, you do see that you have a free RAM bar at the bottom. You have the screen short shortcut over here, so you can edit, delete and stuff. You have clear all button and you have an option to kill a single app. Over here, if you tap, you have app info, split screen, uninstall and you have free form windows as well, which is really, really neat. So you do have a ton of control over multitasking in this particular ROM. Now, the moment you swipe from the top to bottom, you have this access to your quick files. You do have screen recording over here, which has a ton of options, lower quality for smaller file size, bigger file size limit, stuff like that. Stop dot long press to move it, show touches on the screen and you can record internal and external audio. So if you click start, you will get a timer over here. That is a countdown and the screen recording will start. Now you will notice that the smoothness is still there. As you can see, this recording red dot can be disabled. So yes, it's working absolutely fine. No stutters, no jitters, no major issues. So let's tap to stop over here and let it process the recording and it is processed already. Power of the Snapdragon 870 maybe. Let's go ahead and increase the volume a little bit. And the screen recording will start. Now you will notice that the smoothness is still there. As you can see, this recording red. Right. So the screen recording is working great. No problems there. Let's go to the edit menu and you will see that in Corvus OS 11 or Corvus OS 17 based on Android 11, you do have a ton of options. You have stuff like heads up, you have always on display, invert colors, switch data card to a different SIM card, you have the reboot shortcut, you have caffeine, you have the audio mode, sound search, sound compass, sync, dark theme, FPS info, that is something neat. And you have the Zen mode now known as the Corvus Zen in this particular ROM. So if we go to the FPS info, there you go. The FPS is active. Now, as you can see, it is adaptive refresh rate. So most of the times it is changing frames per second and yeah, it went down to one FPS. That should give us some crazy battery life, right? Now let's move on to other aspects of the ROM. The quick drawer is pretty, pretty simple. Nothing much there. And the ROM comes with a very, very basic camera application. So you can install Gcam of your choice and it should work just fine. You should not have any problems. Now let's quickly go to settings over here. Let's go to about phone and let's go to the Android version. Android version, of course, is Android 11, as you can see over here. There you go. The cat game has been activated. Everybody careful. <laughs> Anyways, this is Corvus OS, the ROM and the kernel that we have is the Goindy kernel. I've heard about this kernel for the very first time. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, I've not heard about this kernel and I might be wrong. But nonetheless, these are the specifications. Your SE Linux status is enforcing. You have the October security patch. I'm pretty sure soon they will update to the November security patch. Now, the most important thing over here is Corvus settings in which you have three sub menus. You have Raven's Liar, you have Themes and you have Raven Desk. Themes, of course, does what it is supposed to. It gives you a ton of customization options for the look and feel of your ROM. That is good. But the moment you go to Raven's Liar, that is where all the magic happens. You have four subsections over your system, lock screen, status bar, and hardware. Right now, under system, you do have notification, which gives you a lot of control over your notifications. Then you do have gestures, double tap to lock screen, double tap to sleep in status bar, you have brightness control, screen off power button torch, automatically turn torch after 10 minutes, then you can go to notifications and you can also go to miscellaneous, which has all these features and all these options, which work absolutely fine, right? Now, if you go to lock screen, you do have a ton of customization on your lock screen and you have fingerprint preferences as well. Now, moving on, you have status bar in which you have the battery options, you have your clock options, you do have the icon manager, quick settings, traffic indicators. You can go ahead and enable or disable that, as you can see right away. And then you have buttons. 
navigation and then you have the power menu in which you can enable existing or additional features so a ton of customization available in corvus os and even in the display section you have the refresh rate option as you can see over here you have the option of ambient display as well there you go you have a ton of customization for ambient display as well that is something really neat including force brightness values and you have minimum refresh rate as you can see over here now moving on let's talk about the battery life now for some reason that is where i got a little disappointed because what happened is last night i you know set up the phone ran the benchmarks charged the device completely like to 100 percent and left it overnight and i was shocked to see that i lost about 14 percent battery in 12 hours of standby now that's a little disappointing so let's see over here if you click on battery usage there you go as you can see phone idle 19 hours and 2 minutes but it shows it is just used 4% of the battery and the screen has just been used for 22 minutes and we are at 59% so Corvus OS team you guys are doing a splendid job of making this ROM a primary ROM for many users if you can get the battery life fixed I don't know what is wrong with it but the charging speeds are pretty good so yeah battery life needs to be worked on by the Corvus team you have battery saver battery manager and then you have all the other battery statistics available here as well this one i think is wrong as well it says 4881 milliamp hours but i think in a couple of charge discharge cycles that might be fixed then you have the additional option of thermal profiles which also gives you 180 hertz touch sampling rate so that is something really really neat apart from this in sound location security security you have fingerprint unlock your face unlock you have app locker as well which allows you to unlock using face and fingerprint so that is something really neat and in system you do have the gesture options wherein you can take a screenshot by swiping as you can see over here there you have it you do have the option of long screenshot as well let me give you a demo of how long screenshot works on android 11 there you go so the long screenshot works fine the multitasking menu is butter smooth the rom is working great and i definitely recommend this to you guys it might be a one-off thing for me that i didn't get great battery life even on the second charge cycle but the rom is the smoothest stablest rom that i've seen of android 11 off Corvus OS on the Mi 11X. One of the subscribers had commented there are some issues on, you know, Corvus OS on the Mi 11X. I'll go ahead and check them out. But for now, let's talk about the important things that matter to us. If you talk about Widevine L1, well, you have it. If you talk about safety net passing for your banking applications, well, you have it. Now let's talk about the benchmark numbers for which we will go to the gallery because we have a screenshot of the CPU throttle test, right? So as you can see over here, the CPU throttled to 94% of its max performance and the average score was 220 to 26 GIPS. So that's a decent score, a very good score. In fact, if you go to Geekbench over here, you will see that the history says 856-3130 and the previous one was 967-3303. So very decent scores here as well. And if you go to Antutu, 692-942. Now, after the Motorola Edge Pro port that I ran on this, which almost scored 700,000, this is the second highest score and that is really, really neat. So all in all, Corvus OS is splendid. It is a smooth ROM. It works great. It does have some bugs here and there, but that should not stop you from using a daily driver. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this review? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.